I mentioned a couple of moments ago the struggle that some kids have when they have learning disabilities. And it, and it really can be a very bumpy road, that road of education that we all share, but for some it's a very different experience. The great news is when the bumpy road finds its way to Bridgeway, it means the world to a kid. It means a whole new world of possibilities. It means discovering that they're really smart when they thought otherwise. And that is really a wonderful thing. But don't take it from me. Please, I'd like you to put your hands together for the head of school at Bridgeway, Cheryl McClellan. Good evening, everyone. I'm Cheryl McClellan, and I'm the head of school at Bridgeway Academy in Dartmouth. I am used to speaking to about 38-year-olds, so if I seem a little nervous, it's because I am. I'm here tonight to thank you, not for what you're about to do, but for what you've already done. At this exact same event last year, I believe in three minutes we saved a life. Some might think that's an exaggeration, but I don't. Let me tell you a little bit about this life. We had a girl who was leaving Bridgeway and was going to grade 10. I even accompanied her to her high school orientation. So imagine how cool she was when she showed up to this high school orientation with her head of school. Pretty cool. However, she was a little shy, she was a little nervous, but I thought she'd be just fine. Fast forward to last September, and we received a panicked phone call from her mother. This girl had started to cut herself. She was being treated by the mobile crisis unit from the IWK, all because of her anxiety around her new school, her classes, and as she saw it, the lack of support that she had received. The mother obviously called the school, wanted to put a plan in place in order to support her daughter and her daughter's needs, both academic and social. And she felt that she was met with a wall, ignorance, and as she saw it, not an ounce of sympathy. In fact, the response from the school was that her daughter was doing this just for attention. So, what seemed like a 22 second meeting at Bridgeway, we all decided that she would be back at our school, no matter what it took. But ah, uh, this is where real life comes into play. How would she pay her tuition? She had already used her four years of tuition support funding, and the family had no idea how they'd be able to support those payments. The answer came last year at this event in the form of Mark Healy. He stood in this dance floor, and he had a chair. And he said to the crowd, this chair is for a student. It's for a girl who needs to be at Bridgeway. She's in dire circumstances, and she needs to be at Bridgeway. Who here in this crowd will donate towards her tuition. Within seconds, hands were going up everywhere. In fact, it was overwhelming the amount of people that wanted to help. And in three minutes, her tuition for the year was covered. And this girl, she is still at Bridgeway, and she is thriving. She is so happy. She has a beautiful smile. Her sense of humor is almost as warped as mine. And for any of my students or for any of the parents here, you know that's pretty bad. But most of all, she's confident, and she's safe. Now, this could be a true happy ending if this was a standalone case. But it's not. 
Every year, we have students who apply to Bridgeway, who are accepted to Bridgeway. And these kids finally feel like they've found a place where they can learn, where they can have friends, where they can finally feel like they belong. But they don't come because they can't afford to. So, I'd like to tell you that those students that don't come to Bridgeway because they can't afford it, they eventually do end up happy, and they eventually do end up confident. And I'd love to say that they all end up safe. But I don't know, because we're never given the opportunity to try. Please. Think about that tonight. Thank you.